Terps averaging 18 points a game through the first three games of this season. Herter spinning again. Oh, that elevation unguardable. That close to the basket. Why is he coming out of the game? Probably a dumb question to you, Dan Bonner, <laughs> but to me, I'm like, I'm confused. Terps the other way. And one. Devin Herter becoming the go-to scoring source for the Terrapins. Maryland has done a nice job when they've been able to push the ball up the court and it's a great pass on the inside. Anthony Cowan finding her. Those are two of the guys out when we went inside huddle. They've been really efficient. Well, and when Mark Turgeon says he's got to find a combination that's going to be efficient, having used 11 starting lineup combinations, you got to take a look at the guys out on the floor right here because they are moving the ball around, moving without it, playing with a lot of confidence. And the reason for the confidence is because they're. And the number eight seed, Maryland Terrapin. Freshman, number 23, Bruno Fernando. At forward, for the, and at center for the Terrapins, a 7'1 seaman, a 6-foot sophomore, number 10, Daryl Morsell. At guard for the Badgers, a 6'3 freshman, number 34 pins, a 6-foot sophomore, number 1, Anthony Callian Jr. And at guard for, and at guard for Maryland, a 6'7 sophomore, number 4, Kevin Herter. Badgers are coached by kick out. Ford's got to go. Herder with a block. Chance for Maryland to transition. Cowan with Fernando following. Oh, and threw it down. Bruno Fernando running the floor. Set up by Cowan. Two. In transition, it ends up as our BTN standout presented by Discover. The big man running the floor and rewarded. Wonderful job by Fernando. And the completion, that's just something you don't see. A big man that's able to run the floor, and Cowan puts it right where he can do something with it. And Fernando continuing his outstanding performance as of late. Fernando is six points. Option away for Moss and Berlin. Nice work by Herder again. And Fernando, you rock. Quick show on the pick and roll there. <laughs> now look at him. Getting the crowd going. Man, that is bringing down the hammer right there. I didn't think he was going to be able to get that. Oh, I thought it was too far out of reach, and he was like, oh, no, it's not. That was a little Stacy Ogman esque. Plastic man, can can. Right there. I'll tell you what. I mean, he took the push and still got it down. Bruno Fernando, career high. In transition, smart play. Now it takes the ball down. This is a deep three. Able to knock it in. But look at the defense for Butler. All sucked in below the free throw line. And that's just a heavy play. And that time, Keenan Martin kind of bailed out Marcel by going for the steal. Not a play you expect from your senior. Maryland able to capitalize. Of jewelry, and it's been all Maryland so far shooting 73%. And Illinois let Maryland get their head up to start the game. Got up some easy baskets at the, at the rim. And since then, it's just been an onslaught of Maryland jumpers and layups. And Illinois really not giving any resistance to this Terrapin team. Maryland bouncing back from that long reason why moving the ball around, attacking that zone. Excellent ball movement. Shooter. The shooter's touch there. Vickens spilling the corner. But 
excellent ball and body movement. Anthony Jackson Jr., the son of Jared Jackson Sr., who had a great career for Jimmy Thompson at Georgetown. Meanwhile, first four minutes and change. Really attacking this zone in an intelligent manner. Getting the ball to the middle, spraying it out. Perfect three for three from distance. Herter got things going. The shooters roll, filling into the corner, three ball corner pocket. And you see great ball movement, sharing the basketball. Fernando underneath will kick it back out. Cowan Jr., five on the shot clock. Nice Herter. run. He's so good at cutting, isn't he? he be a big time accomplishment for either one of these teams. Shot clock down to seven. Herder's three is good again. But it's a it block turned away by Parton. Underneath, it's Herder for the dunk. Cowan. Out of money with that delivery. Before he get away from it. You can cut into this lead from the foul line. He finds his buddy Herder for two in the lane. Nice job of moving without the ball. Watch Cowan get the dive. That's a difficult shot because you saw Herder had all his momentum going one way, able to... 20 point game. Abdur Rachma the drive. Eli Brooks is checked in and take away from Maryland. Cowan the fine layup for Reese Mona. His 13th point. Of you know, I would say the crowd is energized by Cowan. This is a great block by Herder. Cowan gets it. Cowan's been terrific in the second half. And there you see the finish kept his chin on the rim. One of the best backcourts in the Big Ten. Two sophomores, an outstanding sophomore class for Maryland. It starts with their point guard, Brian. Anthony Cowan can get in the lane and create not only opportunities for himself in terms of scoring, but you don't want to foul him and put him on the line. An outstanding foul shooter among the conference leaders in assists and assist turnover ratio. And the beneficiary of a lot of those assists, Kevin Herter, moves extremely well without the basketball. A difficult matchup at 6-7, both inside and out. That'll be a key for Wisconsin today. Both of these teams know they have to win four games in four days to win this tournament. Wisconsin get it to go over Obi, who rips down the rebounds. Sean Obi contributing some minutes here in the first half. What a boy. Two more. Maryland has had his last. Anthony Cowan starting to heat up. Well, Anthony Cowan, this guy's got all the moves. What a nice shot. Great finish. Watch me. Now on the line, and her lays it in. Right to the rim now. Right there, no pressure on the ball. You got to have a hand up to make that pass hard. Davidson doesn't have his hand up. That was too easy a pass for Cowan. When half is out of the game, they really struggle offensively. He played 15 minutes. Maryland started to pick it up because they were forcing Wisconsin to miss. Got the tempo going and the points in the paint, as Andrew said, 24 to 8. That is a huge number. Wisconsin has to get back. The Turks in transition. Down by one. Tip by Fowler and saved nicely by Wiley. Herder trailing for three. Oh, that was deep from Cumberland. But Cohen knew Herder was cut. That could have been a huge swing. Badly takes it away. Two on one, but Cowan's right there, and he takes it right back for Wiley. Then make a decision. Herder with the left. Kevin Herder, the sophomore from Clifton Park, New York. Nine points now on the Knights. And it's a nine. Herder gave it up to Cowan Jr. Good, Ten to shoot. Good closeout by the Maryland. But after you go. 0 of 7 from the field. Company with four turnovers. Here's Herder again for three. He's bounced by Fernando, but this is even a better play on the baseline. You see the little baseline runner here, and FDU plays it incorrectly. They try to go over the top, and they run right into. Fernando got away with it when a tip by Frazier. Quarter three, Herder. <laughs> well, usually when that basketball gets the. He's got 17 points in this game and a two-point advantage for Illinois, for Maryland, I should say. This jump shot is just so compact. And yes, that ball gets tipped, but he gets it into his shooting pocket, kind of reloads on it. 
And you know what? That's what you expect from your big-time players. That's and he goes out there and he makes a big-time play. And that's the same shot he took at the end of regulation that he missed. Right. Fernando tipped in. I want to say you give him a couple looks at that shot, he's going to make more than he misses. Possibly of inducing Moss into that shot. Cowan into end to Herter for three. That's too happy. Mm -hmm. happy with that, but in to end they go. You gotta know where your teammates are. Trust them, love them, feed them. 55. Yeah, by Pimpson. Herder with the dish to Tobias. Yeah, I love the vision of Herder. And tried to make a pass inside to Penante. Ill advised. Herder. to 16. Take a look at the hard hedge on the screen and roll. And when it steps up right there, see him step on it. And obviously Maryland doesn't fear Kanate rolling to the basket. Hence, that creates the turnover. So Maryland's defense doing a terrific job. And Herder in transition runs to that. 39 to 32, Maryland in the midst of a 10-0 run. And they just turned it up after a couple of turnovers to open this half. Well, Kevin Herter has been the catalyst. Not only is he scoring, but he's finding people. Maryland running their offense through him. And then when Minnesota thinks they've tightened up there, Anthony Cowan, a guy who hasn't scored. End of the half, Harris come down gingerly and is not going to factor since. And here comes Cowan from downtown. It's his first points of the game. Yep. But you can't say he's been in, a, in the corner, bottom of your screen. He's just waiting as the defense just totally leaves him there. He hadn't been effective all evening, 0 for 3 from the field prior to that shot. But he did have eight assists, but you can't keep it. And the bucket allowed, and this Minnesota run continues. Oh, Cowan off balance. He thought he could sneak that one in there, relax the defense. And then a nice job with a little transition of their own. 10-4 run now for Minnesota to maintain contact in this one. Herder, count it. I'm just not understanding. Out of what a game he had for the overtime thriller against Illinois. See, 27 points occur here. I, the second game in a row, he's made four three-pointers. But look over there on the right, seven turnovers. That's been a problem all year long for the Terps. Interestingly enough, Kirk is one of their worst three-point shooters. He's more a driver than a shooter. A shooter than a driver. And he doesn't short arm that little hook shot, then he's going to score a lot of points. Herder in rhythm. Kirk tried to scoop it past Chikoski. No chance. Got a piece. <laughs> no chance there. Herder lays it in for Maryland. Herder doing a great job moving without the ball. You, you used the term in rhythm, Tom, and that's exactly what you saw right there from Kevin Herder. And here, Michael Tchaikovsky with the block shot. Herder's able to get out, just floats the ball up over the defender. So Herder showing you the wide range of his skills as well. He's now the leader. He hasn't really, he's missed a couple of network, and Kevin Herder leading the way for the Terps. Dan Bonner, he's got 14.3 made three-point baskets. Uh, the thing about Herder is he hasn't really, he's missed a couple of shots, but he hadn't taken any bad ones tonight. He's done a nice job moving without the basketball, catching it in rhythm, and he certainly is a guy who can finish at the end of a fast break, as he showed you right there. There's the numbers you talked about, Tom. Five and nine from the field, three three-point baskets. Also has a steal in the game. And when he gets in better shape, he's lost some weight since he's been here. He'll continue to get in better shape and free throw line. Making the free throws once he's there sometimes is more problematic. Well, that can certainly be a challenge for him. You see it back next week. But right now, Turgeon's team is depleted. Herder fires again and knocks it down. Well, that's can't Which way as we head down inside the 92nd mark. Herder. And to put on or take off the weight. Herder steps into the passing lane. Kevin's been quiet for a while. Cowan's been quiet all night. And knocks down. With 18 first half points. Cowan will skip to Herder, trying to answer. He got it. Herder, like Matthias, when he's in rhythm, it just seems like that he's not going to miss. 
And Matthias has it in the end, and that has moved over and helped him on the offensive end. The energy's up, and of course the energy, it stays up when the ball goes in the goal. Arms back out there now for the Boilermakers. Herder off the screen for three. That was an end. Now, we showed you the point scored by the police runners. to Cody Matthias has the And no go. Nice look. Herder in the front court to the basket and the easy finger roll. How about Cowan is a terrific player, folks. You're going to enjoy watching him tonight. Number one for Maryland. Body. Good plays with Starting to heat up and very good moving without the ball. Coming off the screens, he's deadly. You have to lock the trail on him. You can't go over the top. And then in transition, he has the green light. And they need him to make shots to open up the defense or open up the offense in terms of driving the ball to the basket. He's that guy that spaces the floor. A foul was called on Jim. We're in College Park, but it's a foreign invasion going on right now. Domination inside Zikowski. Sean is where is Allie Utsen. How about the outstanding freshman? Give me those two inside. Little ballerina move right there, Justin. What do you think? We talk about Chikovsky. That was like Barishnikov right there <laughs> by Bruno Fernando. I mean, this is a, that was like Barishnikov right there <laughs> by Bruno Fernando. I mean, this is a guy who's 6'10", 245. You look at him and you don't say that's an 18, 19 no. year old freshman. Uh, no. Mature, the energy, but I think he's learned too from Joukowsky in regards to how to tailor that a little bit more. And as a coach, you want to have a player that you have to amp down a little bit and bring down. You don't want one you always have to kind of push. You don't have to worry about that. Look at Maryland first, though. So they did a great job of getting the ball inside with Michael Tchaikovsky and Bruno Fernando. And it seemed like they were really focusing on that, not taking too many threes early. They only took eight threes all half. Bruno Fernando obviously was doing work. Wasn't double teamed inside. He definitely took advantage of that. So Maryland did a really good job of getting their offense jump started in the paint. You may have Cowan guarding a big guy. You must recognize it, move that basketball, and try to get it inside. They find it inside. Maryland is minus three per game and turnover margin for the year. It's Kevin Herter. Well, here comes Herter. Nice alley you. Or sell for the dunk. Well, Herter has a great feel. He played. This is just Herter seeing things. And, of course, the ability at the rim or sell big time. time. Gavin Skelly, a 74% free throw shooter. To find the cutting read. Herter slips it inside, Morsell. Another tough finish against Watkins. In and out, Jackson, big defensive rebound. The turns with numbers. Morsell, easy back to the I really like Morsell. He's playing the point guard on offense, and he's guarding. And now his third rebound, up ahead for Morsell. Able to save it, hangs in the air, puts it in. Moving up to Madison Square Garden in December as Herter throws it down. An emphatic finish from the sophomore. Oh, my goodness. You can't do that in Clifton Park. The, the rims <laughs> fall down. Because <laughs> Maryland ends the half on a 26-4 run. They have dominated in the last 10 minutes as Herter gets it done with our halftime report coming up next. ESPN's Holiday Hoops presented by Zales. Welcome back to the beautiful Xfinity Center where Maryland leads fairly Dickinson by 23. It's a well field goals in the game for Fairleigh Dickinson. Morsell, look out! Out of foul! That was a three-on-one textbook. Coming off the loose ball hurt it with a good hit ahead and then Maryland really knowing how to run the lane and don't see much of a foul there. Good finish. The adjustments they're having to make right now are very cruel for any program. And Ali is a good one again. Herder is absolutely feeding and fanning everyone. More so gets more and more. Minnesota, take a look at the screen being set. Herder gets the ball. Screen set. He goes for the alley -oop. Look how much room between the defender and Herter. And no hands up, nothing. Herter just has clear vision to throw that alley-oop. And, you know, Minnesota, you're down 15th against Indiana State at the Charleston Classic. This is a team that comes in averaging 80 points a game. 
of the University of District Columbia women's team. Shots tonight. He's got 17 points in the game now, but he just looks so smooth shooting the basketball. When he's open, you expect it to go in, and there he gets a blocked shot. So that's eight blocked shots for the Turks. has been impressive a couple of times tonight, showing you his ability, and Marcel makes a nice pass there. He gets the assist to Herter, but again, Herter moving without the basketball. When you give Herter any room at all, it, you, you just think the ball's going in the basket. It's at 28. Herter. Now, Fernando did take a three, and I think that'll be the last one he takes all year. Nice dump down from Herter to Morcell. Very patient by Morcell. And that was a great play by Morcell because he fumbled that ball. And he made a great pass, so good that I think he surprised Morcell. Morcell dropped the ball, but took his time, recovered it, got a dribble, got himself on balance, and scored a very difficult shot. Here's Morcell again putting it on the floor. And he finds Herder to come to the, the second half. It's Maryland ball. Alley oop for Herder! Perfect execution out of a timeout. That was a design play and the perfect lob at the right angle and Horder gets on this trampoline and goes over the top. This is a beautiful inbounds play. Under the basket and just lobbing it right over the top and defensively they lost sight of Horder who cuts straight to the rim. Very good cutter and a very good job by Horder moving without the ball. That's something he's improved. New York sophomore. And a whistle. Looks like inside. Yeah, the big guy got jammed up. And this is just a little give and take, a little rat tat tat tat. Uh, Bruno can really do some jammed up. And this is just a little give and take, a little rat tat tat tat. Uh, Bruno can really do some damage. But here, after a pin down and just a little lazy cover on the little handoff. Get your hand up on that kid, though. I think they got to go to Fernando a little bit down on that nice run. How about Fernando? Fernando knocks it away. Here comes Cowan. Herder trailing deep three. Got it. What a dagger that was. Nine nothing. Yeah, they were worried about the offensive rebounds, but they've done pretty good on the glass, and they've done really when the ball's been in the hands of Bruno Fernando. Oh, he kissed the bicep there. <laughs> Herder. Beautiful pass, and watch the fakes here. Up and under the other way around. Fernando. Completely to the left, and Fernando, an unusual look from the double. He came as another big to double to help out Tchaikovsky, but the footwork of half paid dividends. Herder gets it up, look out below! Bruno Fernando with a throw down. Great setup by Herder. One of the more first in the Big Ten. Fernando with a throw down. Great setup by Herder. One of the more ferocious dunkers in the Big Ten and all of the country. Bruno Fernando, this dynamic freshman from Angola. Maryland's lost three straight. Their last four game losing streak was 2005. Herder, great pass! Fernando! The flush! Violation takes us to a timeout with 11.33 to go. Wisconsin and Maryland back and forth we go, and it's now a one point. Shot clock down to eight. Herder leaves it off for Bruno for the dunk. And a timeout taken here by Butler. All tied up at 15 here. Nickens number 11 has checked in for the Terrapins. One point lead for Butler. Herder left open for three. Got it. Merlin. McDermott the other way. Gets his man up. Bruno with the block. Here come the Turks. Early and often, and what that does is sinks the defense. And then it's going to open up for opportunities on the perimeter and driving lanes. Plus, you get out in transition and score the basketball. So when this Maryland team slows down, they can execute in half court and they can beat you in half court. But within a young team, 
Those turnovers are going to come back to haunt you. Big body, but also the quick feet and the ability to just, as we said, keep the ball up high. The nice ball fake and just wait. I still think Northwestern is going to have a good year. They didn't start out very good, but that guy's starting out. Got the good feet and also great anticipation of how to find a little bit of an opening down in the box. And there, really no resistance. It's pretty easy, but. 190. Kevin Herter is a nightmare matchup at the guard spot for Maryland. The ever improved game off the bounce, reading screens, moving without the basketball, the great range and the length in the quick release over the top, the great passing ability, ball handling ability. We haven't been able to put a lot of the offense in because we're still trying to figure out the basics of what we run. As they get more comfortable, they can put counters in and, and more offense. Herder just slicing through that defense, able to fly for Jordan, go inside, Kipper Nichols, left hand, couldn't get the roll. Battling for it, Nichols again, goes right back up, blocked away. That's the freshman, Bruno Fernando. And now Kevin Herter on the other end with the left hand. Quarter four, to pass around. Herter with the nice lob, and Bruno Fernando. Just joining us, Fran McCaffrey, the head coach of Iowa, was tossed. In the last five minutes of the first half, they're again inside off the dish from Herter. Well, Herter is such a good passer. And if you're going to front the post, you've got to jam that pass. So Nicholas Bear has really got to be up. Inside look, Jackson slams it home. Good vision from Herter. And if that man defense. Good job by Mark Smith denying. Four to shoot. Jackson with the left hand. Tough shot. What footwork, I mean. Smith. Trying to drive, find the open man. All short down. Now bottled up by Jackson. Maryland not allowing anything at the rim. Jackson and Fernando absolutely controlling the glass. Herder with a great feed from Justin Jackson. And Jackson maybe hasn't shot the bat. So successful. That's a great cut inside. And a follow by Jackson. Points. Looking good. Here's Jackson. <laughs> That's spreading it around a little bit. Spreading the love as Jesse connected. Out of the corner, a three right back at you. Justin Jackson for the Terps. And no matter what. The skip to her. For the lead. The first of the previous trip. Now, Justin Jackson is going to make a great pass right here. He may not have any field goals, but now he's got four assists. That's a perfect pass to Herder. And then on the other end, Isaac Haas has had a 10-point lead for Purdue, 15-49. Remaining second half, Kevin Kugler alongside Dan Bonner. Nobody in college basketball gets more excited for a flag unveiling than they do <laughs> here in Maryland. It's one of the great traditions that you'll find Maryland hoops. The flag unfurling down the stands. It's really cool. They do a great job with it. Nickens catch and release on a great pass from Kevin Herter. Really nice. He's really a guy they can throw the ball to. And in the last couple games, they did a nice job to Mayich involving him. Keith Braxton having a very good year. Junior Robinson from Mount St. Mary's off to a big start. But... Uh, Herder fading off of the screen. Johnson right in his hip pocket. Good vision to find Nickens, who cans a corner three and gives the Terps their first lead of the second half. A crossover on Nickens. Contested shot won't go. Tchaikovsky did well to go straight up. A yeah, little contact, but Tchaikovsky was able to go straight up just like you said. Nickens off the cross-court feed from Herder. Buries a game-tying three. And how important to pass up ahead. Nickens, a clean look, and a one-point game. Wow. With one minute left. Fernando Herter, deep jumper for Herter, and it's good. Doesn't need much. Knows how to turn, not even distracted on the right, which is difficult for a righty shooter as well. Boy, does he get rid of to the corner nicely. Boy, you got to get out on him. Herter jump shot goes down, and all of a sudden, Maryland yeah. off to the seventh season. A Larry Brown disciple. Coach Brown, I'm sure, watching this game now from the Hamptons. Herter spinning, working hard. Oh, windows and in.
Well, he does a nice job on they like to go up. Doesn't have to look at the poise here. Drop step, spin, a little kiss out of upstate New York. Well, I've read so much before he we went down there. And I, I think I had a bit of an America's play here, screen to screener. Hurt her. And you don't get out of him. You pay the price. Watch out. 12 and 1. It's Bridges outside with a three. Ward the offensive rebound. Oh, and that's the way by Hurter. And every time he catches it, Kevin, look at the block. Her to get up in the air a little bit, and he also timed it perfectly. So they're going to help out as much as they can when Ward touches it. Recognize him as the leader, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of tempo he sets. Herder three. And yeah, the last time out was beneficial for them. Herder, who is the high school player of the year in the state of New York, goes in. He is playing well. He's in a couple outside, and that one with a nice drive. Pass, the second guy keeping it alive, moving it to the corner, spreading the floor. They're challenging just enough with the drive and blending their offense. After a solid first half. Herder. With Langwood defending, and with a little spinner, sees a Michigan State has trailed at the half. It's their largest halftime deficit. I'm sure that locker room was interesting at halftime. I'll bet it was. I'll bet it was. And Kevin, you know what number's going to have to change? Three, 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 three. will check out. Herder three. Oh, big shot. So you go to the line and you miss two. This season. Becoming a very good basketball team. There's Herder trying from deep, and Herder has range the minute he walks into the arena. And his first three gets Maryland on the board. Just looks so itch early on alongside Robbie Hummel. I'm Kevin Kugler. Great to be with you from Pinnacle Bank Arena. Good start for Nebraska. They get the early lead. Kevin Herder with the three to get Maryland going a little bit. Yeah, we've seen Kevin Herder do this all season. This is no surprise. And you said it during the break. It looks so easy for him from distance. A guy that really has great range and has been impressive all year. We saw it though right before the timeout. The hustle from Nebraska's Isaiah Roby. Shot to Tim Miles. Launch from his offense there. Maryland switching. To think he wants to see them move the basketball and get it in some pair on the road. Obi with the screen, the skip to Herder. Herder going past Palmer. High arcing shot falls, and Maryland's hit eight of their last. Herder the feeling the need to get him back on the court. Rotation around to Wiley and Dion Wiley. Whoa. Got that with confidence, stepped right in there. Just drilled that three. Herder playing with three fouls, but under control. Here's Herder, the lob to Tchaikovsky, and the big man on the rim can't get it. Rebound ripped down by Deion Wiley. Here's Herder, the step through with a left hand rolls home. That is a beautiful. We talked about Deion Wiley, and Mark Turgeon certainly lit a fire. Man, what a change of direction by Kevin Herder. Herder. Look at the drive, Herder to the rim, the layup falls.